And let's move on to the final topic of things. We're about to get really negative. Um, I want to go to music. I want to go to the rap scene real quick. We got a lot of rap beef in this day and age. You know, this came out of nowhere. Uh, we were looking at Drake versus Kendrick. Then all of a sudden we have Quavo versus Chris Brown. <laughs> like, then we have Rick Ross coming in. Then we had, you know, we already had Met Future and Metro Boomin and everything like that. It's it's a lot of chaos going on right now. I, I it's just crazy to me. But I want to focus in right now on the Drake versus Kendrick thing. Number one, me and Brian. Funny thing enough, on Saturday, last Saturday, we were recording. We were talking about uh, this was like literally before the song came out. Like we were recording, we were talking about oh. Um, Drake has a lot to lose in this, yada, yada, yada. And then, like, a few hours later, the, the song comes out, and I, I was like, oh, goddamn. And I, drop and give me 50. Drop and give me 50. That, that shit was cold. I ain't gonna lie. But then, yesterday, Drake dropped another track, AI, Tupac, Snoop Dogg, and then his voice afterwards. I want to I want y'all opinion on this because Drake he's dropped two tracks he's trolling online he's trying to um, antagonize Kendrick he wants Kendrick to get a response like right now how do you guys look at this sort of beef between Drake versus Kendrick do you think Drake looks good and all this do you think Kendrick looks kind of soft and all this where are you guys thoughts on this I'll go for I will say I am I, I am biased in this whole debacle for Kendrick Lamar. I'm on, I'm part of PG Lane and all that. Oh, you're not but, with the light skin dude? <laughs> you're not with the light skin brother? Like, no, what's going? On? Well, no. I don't know if he's a brother anymore. But you're not with the light skin dude? Nope, nope. And, and here's the thing: I listened to the thing he dropped. I ain't gonna. I didn't listen past Pac, that Pac verse. I don't think AI should be involved in any type of music, music, art, none of that. I think it's absolutely lame, and I don't know why people give him a pass for that. And it's, it's just absolutely disgusting what I'm seeing from, honestly, both sides of the spectrum as far as this whole that. And I, I'm, I'm over time. I'm just losing interest at this point because just so much lame stuff going on. It's like people trying to win social media debates instead of rap debates and it's, it's kind of it's getting it's really getting annoying in my opinion and like it's all these leaks is coming out we got reference tracks leaking we got it's like it's, it's just too much it's just AI. too much like it's, it's really just too much uh, i did like drake's initial diss track though i liked it i didn't really like it when that with that lame beat with, with the first beat it leaked it was like it. a biggie one it was like a biggie I don't know what kind of beat that was, but but the second, the, but, but the second one, the official yeah, uh, beat, I was like, okay, now this sounds way better. It sounds way more ominous and you know stuff like that. But I think it was appropriate response to what Kendrick Lamar said in that like that verse. Mm -hmm. Some people was like they they thought he was going to go in a little harder pause, but um, I was like, no, this is a pretty appropriate response. So I ain't yeah. mad at it. It could have been better, absolutely, but I'm not listening to that AI garbage. You can't, you can't, you can never, you can't get me to listen to that. I'm sorry. I may read the lyrics, but I ain't about to be listening to no AI raps. I can't do it. Okay. And, and as far as a Kendrick Lamar response, I don't think like Drake just don't get it. Kendrick Lamar just gonna drop whenever he feel like it. Man, Kendrick Lamar went five years without releasing an album. You think you you trolling him on social media gonna make him drop faster? Come on now. And I think I think it's really p killing them that, like the PG link people had just been absolutely quiet this whole time. Like they he been trying to pick at them, pick, and they just they just haven't said anything. And I think that's killing them knowing that he got people in his camp leaking stuff and putting out stuff and talking to media guys and podcast people, you know stuff like that. So I just think Kendrick he gonna draw whatever he feel like it. There's no point of even trying to put that expectation on him at this point. What about you, Xavier? I feel the exact same way as Brian, pretty much. Like, I think the whole... First off, this whole beef... I don't even know if this is real or fake at this point. Like, it's been going on pretty much a, almost a month now. And, like, I thought it was going to be, like, a, a something like a, a unveiling or, like, a, a rollout for a, a, a collab album or, like, a tour or something. But these dudes are still, like, 
going back and forth on the social media, especially Drake, like, because when Kendrick first dropped his verse on, on, on Future album, I was like, oh, okay, this is tough. That shit came out of nowhere. Like, right, this is, this is like, and we ain't heard a Kendrick verse in forever. That was like his first verse in a, in a long time. Hey, hey, you gotta give credit to Brian, because he was like, yeah, Future, he going, um, what, what, what'd you say? He said that shit going, like, um, something about it's gonna, uh, like, shake up the, shake game. Up the game. And I was like, man, Future, like, 30, 36, 37, like, no, he, he still got that pool. Yeah. I, 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 I saw some tweets. I saw old, some man. tweets, and I went to the group chat to if I said this album, this something gonna shake up after this after the album drop. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad it is, cause like Kendrick, I, I always mess with Kendrick, man. Like Kendrick is my dog forever, man. And Kendrick blew up before before he got the Drake feature. Like people want to say Kendrick blew up because of Drake. Yeah, no, 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 no. The no, first no, song no. I heard from Kendrick Lamar was Swimming Pools. Yes, and yes. Drake is nowhere near yes, that record. Right, and like. I think the whole AI thing is corny. I like the first disc. I did like the first disc too, but the whole AI thing is very corny. Like last night, I was um, I was at my grandparents' house and I woke up and checked the group chat that we in, and it's like a a, a post from Drake on Instagram, <laughs> and like because J- Jalen was the one who sent. I'm like, what is this? So I, I woke up from that nap. I'm listening to this song. I hear this, this man Tupac rapping. I'm like, bro, what? And he started rapping in the Drake flow. I was like, oh my goodness, this is not real right now. And I was like, bro, no, this cannot be real. And then Snoop gonna come on, fake Snoop gonna come on afterwards. And then Snoop going in the in the in his verse. Snoop going in his verse saying nephew. And then Drake gonna come in and his regular voice talking about some yeah, uh, like <laughs> you was just rapping that Snoop Dogg, bro. That's you. Like I don't. Drake used to be my Drake used to be my favorite artist from like probably like when he first came out to 2018 when I first went to college. Ever since then, I ain't been messing with Drake for 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 uh, amount of different reasons, but it's mainly the music. Like the music is not hitting. That AI disc wasn't in the first disc. It wasn't that bad. Like I could listen to that in the whip driving to work or something. But that second jump, that generic beat, the AI voices, what he was rapping about, that was corny. I don't know if it was to like troll us or what, but that was corny, man. That was very corny. It was um, it was like pretty much like you know the whole AI thing. He was like poking fun at that. Like Drake is petty. He's a troll, so he he's in his trolling phase right now. <laughs> That's what he's doing. And then also. The whole thing about Pac and Snoop, Kendrick looks up to Pac and Snoop. Um, they, you know, obviously the whole thing with like Kendrick carrying on a torch. Uh, he mentioned it on the song as well, and so he used those two guys because he looks up to them a lot. And um, I remember, obviously, everybody knows about Kendrick. Um, I think it was more the man. He was sort of uh, talking, supposedly talking to Tupac, whatever. But it, it was really like you know a previous recording of him, and he was sort of talking and stuff. So he also got the okay from um, Pops. Pac's mother to have the recording on her, so that so that right there. But with this, this was like, oh, Drake just AI. He didn't really give no clearance for nobody. He just they been giving that dude a lot of passes. Yeah, this past bro, week. I was just about to say <laughs> that. <laughs> he did this with Michael Jackson, bro. He used a Michael Jackson AI with "Don't Matter" for me. That was not the real Michael Jackson. Oh God, <laughs> that wasn't the real Michael Jackson, dog. He was ahead of his time. Don't matter for me. That was not the real Michael Jackson. Oh God, that wasn't the real Michael Jackson, dog. He was ahead of that AI curve in 2018, bro. Like. That song was on the radio, and then last a uh, couple of months ago, like towards the end of last year, when he was about to break Michael Jackson record, and he was acting like he was Michael Jackson on the music video. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing that's been killing me, like, there's been reference tracks dropping where Drake he just took the the lyrics, the flow, and just put it in his own voice. And now people say, "Oh, everybody has reference tracks." Not that kind of reference track, dummy. You know, most artists, if they get a reference track, they just do it to see. How uh how like you perform on a beat? He is real life taking all the lyrical content and just saying it in his own voice. And people and people were saying people were saying uh uh um oh it don't matter as long as it ain't like the eight p.m. songs. I'm like. Quentin Miller got beat up for this almost a decade ago, and he was so right. Like, he he basically, he ain't even really come out and say it. It was Meek Mill that said that Drake had Ghost Riders, and Quentin Miller was one of them. And Quentin Miller paid the price for that, and he was so right, man. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's not like, like, 
it's just nasty work because like if this was anybody else, y'all would be on their head for it. Yeah. But because it's Drake. And if he, it was Kendrick and he was using AI voices, I would be like, bro, what is this? They was trying right, victory lap when that AI disc came out, yeah. and they had cuz the dude who made it had to show the stems and all type of stuff <laughs> to prove that it wasn't yeah. that it wasn't a real disc. I'm like, man, this is crazy, let man. Me, let me tell you something. You know who Drake is, and I remember you know Drake was like, oh, you're this boogeyman, but. Why haven't you dropped anything and everything? He got some nerve, too. Yeah. So I was trying to rush a response. It took him like a month to say something. I'll, I'll say this. Bro, he was this purposely is, leaving his own leaks. Like this, is, this is who Drake is. Drake is, I don't know if you guys watch, um, Freddy Cougar versus Jason. But Kelly Rowland was in that movie. And at the end, Kelly Rowland, you know, she was she was all scared of anything. But then all of a sudden, she tried to act like she wasn't scared. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, that was the clock. <laughs> Anywho, Kelly Rowland was frying... Freddie Cougar. She was like, oh, you, you, this, you ugly, all this other stuff. But, you know, she's really scared. And then all of a sudden, Jason came out of nowhere and clocked her ass, and then she, now she's dead. And you know who else Drake is? Jamie Lee Curtis on Halloween. I say that because Jalen, Jalen Lee Curtis, she like, where you at? Where you at? Uh, with Michael Myers and everything like that. And... Whatever she does, it does not affect Michael Myers. Like, Michael Myers will get fucking exploded into a house, get burned, and this nigga's still alive, ready to do damage. I hate the movie so much. That's who Drake is. He is Jamie Lee Curtis, Kelly Rowland, trying to act like, oh, I'm not scared, I'm ready for war, and everything like that. The big dogs. Throwing shots, throwing shots at these dudes. Little bro. And Kendrick Lamar is Michael Myers, he is Jason. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you say. At the end of the day, when I'm ready to kill, shit is going to get serious. And you're not going to be able to do anything about it. You know what I think as well? I think that Drake is probably doing all of this because he felt like, from the beginning, Kendrick had the control in the situation. No uh, double entendre for the <laughs> keto. No keto. He had the control in the situation because... You know, he came out and just out of the blue and just started throwing shots. Now it's on Drake to respond, putting the pressure on him. When Drake usually the one who, one who wants to be in the control of these type of scenarios and stuff like that. So I feel like he's doing, he's going the extra mile to make it seem like he's the one really in control yeah. and all this. I, I see that. I can definitely see that. Like Drake, put it into this perspective. Drake and J. Cole was on tour when his whole beat first started. J. Cole took himself out of the beef because he a family man now. I see why. You see Kendrick how corny it is? Yes. Man? What is Kendrick Lamar? A family man. I don't expect no... no. I, if he drops some, I expect it to be like... Oh, Kendrick, he gonna drop some. Amazing. Like, like, Kendrick, top he drops some. Yeah. I got but if he does that, I wouldn't be surprised. I got a prediction for that. Here, here's, here's what I think Kendrick needs to do. I think... First of all, I think what Kendrick's doing is genius. Because right now... It, the way the way Drake is portraying himself, he, he's looking like he's like out of his mind right now. Like he's he's going through some type of um, panic attack. Like he's paranoid. That's what it looked like, and he's trying to cover it up by being a troll, coming out, doing all this stuff, posting all this information, uh, saying, "Oh, are you gonna drop? Are you gonna drop?" Showing his freaking, I think it was Kendrick's manager or agent, whatever. I was like, "That's his manager." I didn't know that. But regardless, I think. The way that Kendrick is handling it is the way that he's always handled stuff. Is that you don't know when he's going to drop. You don't know when the bomb is going to happen. You don't know when the nuke is going to happen. But it's going to come. You just don't know when it's going to happen. And people talk about, oh, he's supposed to be this boogeyman. But the minute, the minute somebody wants to battle him, he don't, he, he, he's not, he's not dropping nothing. Well, another thing about being the boogeyman is that you don't know when he's going to attack. See, he's unpredictable. And see, that's the thing that people need to realize. And I know people are going to say, oh, you a dick rod and everything. No. Kendrick, what he's doing, which is smart, let, let Drake do all this trolling. Let him continue to do all this trolling. Continue to be... Because I bet you Drake, he thinking at this at night. Like, damn, when is he going to drop? When is he going to drop? Like, I bet, I bet Kendrick is sleeping like a baby. Like Franklin Saint said, I don't, think he, I don't even think he got social media. <laughs> <laughs> he don't got internet for real. He got a flip phone or something. I bet he's sleep. I bet he's sleeping like a baby right now. He's like, I'm sleeping like a baby. Like Franklin Saint said, and I think what's gonna happen is 
I think Kendrick is either going to drop a 10-minute diss track mm. where he just completely murders Drake. It's going to be a nuke. It's not going to be no three-minute, oh, seven-minute drill like, like J. Cole or three-minute, four-minute like with Drake. No, it's going to be a 10-minute lyricism like you never heard it before. Or if I was Kendrick, I would drop an EP, seven tracks, and each track I would, I would name one of them. I'd be like... Uh, It'd be like all the stuff that we've heard about Drake. Oh, one of them is pedophile man. The other one is um, culture vulture. The other one could be I don't know piss face because of what I do with um, remember T.I. Uh, man. man. Like I, I would literally be that petty and like each track I would like dedicate it to something that I heard about Drake and like each track would be a diss track dedicated to just Drake. And if he did that, that would change the game. Because nobody has ever done that. Nobody has ever dropped an EP where it was literally the entire EP was a diss of Drake. If he does that, I don't know how Drake can recover that. It has to be a nuke. It has to be a bomb. Like It has to be something that we've never seen before. It cannot just be a regular diss track where it's like three, four minutes. Like He has to drop something and it has to be crazy. Like It has to be a ten minute diss track or it has to be an EP of like all these different songs of him just killing Drake. If he does that, then... Niggas gonna eat it up. Niggas gonna be like, "Damn, Drake, you kind of fucked up. You should you should have just not said anything." And that'll be the end of the debate. That'll be the end of the discussion. He should just wait the three weeks. Be petty. Wait the three weeks. Let Drake troll. He's gonna get tired. He's gonna get annoyed. And then boom, drop drop the nuke. That's how I'm looking at it. I don't care what he do. Just drop something that's fire, and we good. Yeah, this whole you better not embarrass me out here. These beefs is like. I don't, I saw on, well, I think it was like Complex, they they tweeted that with all this this, this rap beef, hip hop has been back at the number, or like on the top of the charts recently, like that hasn't happened since like the middle of last year, or like the beginning of last year or something like that. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, deviating from the whole Drake and Kendrick thing, yeah. has Chris Brown lost his mind? Uh, Chris, Brown, think, Chris Brown was wild in that was wild. Yeah, he was wild. You can't diss a cokehead, man. <laughs> he was wild. That man was going crazy. Nah, that's real. I'm like, why? Why is Chris Brown rapping better than most of these dudes out here? Beefing over Saweetie at that, like, wow. That's real crazy. crazy. That's not no. No, it was, it was really Karuchi. Saweetie <laughs> just had to be. Uh, she 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 got caught in a crossfire. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like that. That's real beef. Like that's beef that if they see each other, it's gonna be they're gonna be squaring up. Yeah, they're gonna be ready nah. to fight. Quavo, you might gotta shoot him. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> in GTA, you got you might gotta shoot him in GTA if you see him. I'm not yeah, lie. My, thing, my thing is like the thing that's scary is that Chris Brown be with the Bloods now. Quavo, Paru, man. <laughs> but the thing like Quavo, like I understand, like you know he's been he was with the Migos, like he has been with some street niggas, but like he's not really a street dude. Like he's not affiliated. It was Offset that was the yeah, one going to jail and stuff. Like, like yeah. he wasn't really a street. He's not really a street dude. Like he's not really in a gang. Chris Brown in a gang. Like he's affiliated. That's that's my concern is that I don't want it to be where. It turns into a situation like a lot of these other past beasts where it turns into like a King Vaughn situation where we have like a shootout and everything like that. And like when they see each other, we got guns blazing. Like, I don't want to see that because we, we've seen it so many past times. Like I remember 50 Cent got shot nine times and everything like that. He luckily he was able to survive. But like situations like that, when it gets like the real beef like this, what it seems like, shit, shit going to turn. Look, I just want it to be bars. That's it. I don't want to get to the streets. Cause that's when shit doesn't get funny. Like, we all know Chris Brown ain't a stable individual, so yeah, I don't even know why Quavo out. took it there, mentioning his his uh former uh violence past violence in the past and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, Quavo like, had his own he, allegations with that too. And then he was harmonizing with it too. <laughs> like, like what do you think Chris Brown was going to do? You know that man ain't got no chill. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I, I just hope that um it doesn't get to that. They going, they're they all going to fight. Ain't nothing wrong with a little squabble. Ain't nothing yeah, wrong with a little squabble. Once the guns get drawn, like, whoa, whoa, okay, yeah, relax, yeah, relax. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, the King Von situation, it's going to turn into a squabble. But then all of a sudden, you know, that that one dude, was it, Lil' Tim or something, some, mm-hmm. had the gun ready. Pow, pow. Like, I'm just saying, like, we don't want that. We don't want that to happen. And it was in Atlanta, too. I don't want that to happen. No, no, that's just me. That's just me. What do y'all feel about Rick Ross? Like, I feel like Rick Ross, like, he, he like a like a... He just came out of nowhere. I feel with like the Rick Ross disrespect. 
the, the Rick Ross disrespect is crazy, especially when it, it's making people around our age group looking back. Because some people is online, like around our age, a little bit younger than us, talking about some Rick Ross wouldn't be nothing about us. Right? Like, that's just what? Nice. What? That's Y'all nice. wasn't like, people wasn't listening to, like, granted, I was like five or six or like seven yeah, when Rick yeah. Ross first came out, but I remember Rick Ross' first song, like, it was yesterday, like, every day I'm hustling. Awesome, like, yeah. every day I'm like, hustling. Awesome, and yeah, it's every ride and high, like, bruh, I was right there. That was before I knew about Drake. I wasn't watching no Degrassi. I, I didn't even know he was on no TV yeah, show back then. I didn't like, know that either. <laughs> I didn't know that either. Like, man, I, I just think that it is disrespectful. I, I did think that Rick Ross may have gotten the worst out of that Drake diss because he was talking about uh, Rick Ross and then he talked, mentioned Diddy. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, he said you about to turn 50 or something like that. I thought that was probably the, that besides the Metro part, I thought that was probably the funniest out of the diss. But the whole Rick Ross thing, I think, I think um, Rick Ross, like, I love the diss. Like, I love the bat because we, we learn some things. Because uh, if you if you if you see like Joe Budden, he was like sort of dissecting like the lyrics and everything like that, and he was talking about maybe Drake. One of the things why a lot of these guys are turning against Drake is because of just in the industry, the um, I think he may have owned like a percentage of maybe the publishing, maybe maybe he owns like a percentage uh, with, with some of these. Um, with these companies, these music companies or whatever like that, and like when they try to, you know, you, you artists, you're trying to clear like a sample or something like that, you gotta go through somebody, and maybe, just maybe, Drake is the middleman, and he'd be like, nah. Cause he'd be in beast with a lot of people, and maybe, maybe Future, maybe, maybe Travis, maybe Rick, they cool with this one dude, what, but what Drake's is, not what, cool with that, what, uh, that dude. Uh, so they're like, nah, I'm not trying to help him. Uh, Rick Ross said he sent Drake sent the cease and desist to uh, French Montana. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, one of the executives at one of the at the label he confirmed it that yeah. Drake did yeah. that. So that that can I don't know I don't know what I don't know the contract. I know Drake he get, he got paid like six hundred mil I think from Apple. But I don't know the contract details everything. But it just seems like there's something going on from the business perspective into why like a lot of these people just don't like like the metro the futures and all of them just don't rock with drake anymore i don't think it's just women i just think it's deeper than just women like it's probably part of it because drake is a petty nigga at the end of the day but i think i think like the whole uh the whole business side of things i think drake he feeling himself i feel like he you know he got a good deal and he he's not trying to like help out the people that helped him out at first because Rick Ross, like, he put him under his wing. You know, remember, like, Drake was a cornball. People weren't taking him serious. He got that, got that, got that picture of him in that, I, I don't know what building it was, but Drake was, like, wearing, I think he may have been wearing some Tims or some shit and some shades. Yeah, and, and that, he was, he was like, he was like, that. <laughs> like, what the hell are you doing? Rick Ross looking at him all strange and stuff. Like, he was a cornball, but, but him hanging around Wayne, hanging around Ross, hanging around all these different folks, he started future to act too, a bit too. different. Yeah, Future too. He started to act a bit different, and then by like, if you're reading this, it's too late. You're in the six guy, six guy stuff. He he started betraying them stuff. Like he's a street dude. Like he got people behind him. Like oh, he oh, got an entourage. Sometimes. Like that. That's my thing. Like I feel like once we got to, if you're reading this, it's too late. I feel like his whole demeanor started to change. Where he started to feel like, and this is where I think like Kendrick don't rock with him no more because it's, I think Brian may have mentioned it before, but like his whole sort of demeanor started to change, like he started to act like he was a street dude when he's not, he's from Toronto, Canada, that's why, that's why, uh, he was driving why. an Acura to the Degrassi filmings, bro, his mom's Acura, like a brand new Acura, I'm talking about he from the trenches, man, and, 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 and that's why Kendrick was like, I hope him sentiment symbolic, and he said, I'm too, I'm too paranoid for a threat. Because Kendrick really came from that West Side Pyro. So exactly. he, he exactly. Drake talking all this mafioso and he six guy stuff and all that Chubbs and Baca. Oh. Kendrick like Kendrick like, hey, we really on that over on this side. Exactly, so what, bro. What, what, he literally had he literally had bloods behind him during it. He was literally in the middle of Compton with bloods behind him during an interview. Like Kendrick is really yeah, from the right. trenches. Like people, he's really people indoctrinated lyrics, into these streets. Like did they not listen to did they not listen to Good Kid Man City? Like did they not what? listen to He was talking about it on to Pimp or Butterfly too? Like they just not listening. <laughs> he's talking about every album pretty much. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I think I think Drake, I just think Drake at the end of the day, like, I mean, I still rock with him, but he just I don't know, like no, he's see. just he's just it's it's hard to really 
like fully embrace like what he's become because he's just such a conf conflicting figure. Like, I hate what he's and, become. And to, to touch on like the industry side of things, let's not forget that he's. I'm not going to say what, <laughs> what what people uh what he is, but uh, I mean. Yeah, that yeah, would just keep know. it at that before they try to get on cancel this podcast or something. I don't know. If like you, you know, you know. If you, you know, you, you know. You see all the all the good headlines for Drake come out, but the, all the negative ones be they be a little silent. Yeah, yeah because they be covered up. up. Yeah, <laughs> they don't want to do that. But like, I, I will like at the end of the day, like Kendrick, keep doing what you're doing. Don't listen to all these people. Like, do do you. Drop whenever the hell you want. I don't care what anybody says. Freaking Nas waited three months to drop Ether. What the hell? Like, Jay-Z killed him <laughs> on TakeOver, and Nas waited three months before dropping that nuke. So, whatever time you need in order to eventually drop whatever you need to drop for the diss track, I will happily be ready for it. I'll, I'm, I'm still going to support Man, Kendrick's fans, I don't care if he loses or not. I'm still cranking that good kid, man. <laughs> Kendrick, Kendrick's fan base is strong as it ever will be like people are not going to leave him because he hasn't dropped the diss track in two three weeks four weeks whatever you name it his his fan base is still going to be strong because at the end of the day we know what he represents we know what he's about and we know that he don't give a damn about no damn drake like yeah he called him out but shit how long ago did he make that track in the first place he could have made it like in jan wait but when the first person shoot in january First person shooter came out like before. Oh, before man, that album three? came out like twenty twenty two. I think. No, it came out five months ago. It may have came out twenty twenty three. Mm. Regardless, so, all the dogs came out so, twenty twenty three, like around oh, yeah, uh, around, uh, around uh, like time. November. Or something. Yeah. So 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 November. Mm -hmm. He may have made the track maybe in December or January. So if he made the track in January and Future came out with it in March, I think it was Future, March. Future announced well, that before all the dogs came out in October. In October, October sixth. So, so Future October. The album in like January, or February. So October, let's say Kendrick made a made a made a track. Maybe you think you think Kendrick really like? Oh, I got a rush, man. This dude got kids. He got kids. He got a he got a wife. He ain't really tripping, bro. He he's not tripping at all. He don't give a damn about what people saying. And Luffy, what is it? Luffy Asto coming out hating. Like, like come he on, been hating on kids, come on. I don't, I don't give a damn if you're a professor. You can still be a hater. I don't care if you're a talented lyricist. You said Logic was better than Kendrick. Like, come on now. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was OC. Stop it, bro. Like, anywho, I just think this beef. I, I love corny. it. It got corny. It's entertaining as hell. Uh, I, I love I love Drake trolling, but I think both both sides are doing their job. Both sides, I look at the way that they're doing it. It's a chess match. It's a boxing match. They have their own strategies. I think Drake's strategy, I think he's doing a good job on this. Drake always been a social media guy, so I mean, it's obvious he was going to resort to these kind of tactics. I think Kendrick, he's doing what he feels like he needs to do, and I'm not going to just criticize him about it because that's who he is. He's not a guy that immediately responds to whatever it is. He takes his time. Kendrick is on his own time, and people are going to listen regardless. And that's just the way it is. People want to try to rush him, but that's not who he is. That's just that's just how it is. is any final remarks on that matter? Nope. Nope. We anti Drake. <laughs> I mean, I just want good music, dude. Yeah, I'm saying I just want good. I want Drake to make good music again. That's my final remark. I miss the old Drake. I think he said that song one time. <laughs> he did. He did. He was talking about me in that job. Yeah, he was. He did me in his own. <laughs> he was talking about me too because I, I missed the. Um, I miss when he had the freaking clouds over his head. Yeah, man. Yeah, if you man, and re if you're reading this, it was too late to. Um, let me see. Uh, let's see. I think that'll do it for now. Yeah, we've been talking on for long enough. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, hit the notification bell, follow the socials as well, and we'll see you guys on the next episode of the podcast. Thank you guys for watching and. Peace. Just let me be, be.